Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you all about something new that I'm doing and I'm going to offer you a unique opportunity to follow along with me. Now what I'm going to be doing is starting a digital marketing agency for local businesses. Now I don't have any experience doing this, but my business partner has a ton of experience and he's going to be guiding me through the process. And I'm going to let you watch me building this business in real time so you can follow along and you can do the same thing. So obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and in this video I'm going to be telling you why I'm doing this, what the benefits are, why it's such an amazing opportunity and why you might want to do it along with me. Now you guys may or may not know, but I'm a guitar player. I've been playing guitar a long time, longer than I've been marketing. So if you're ever wondering why I have this outrageous long hair, uh, well, now you know my secret, I'm a musician. I started learning to play guitar when I was 13 years old, and the first guitar that I ever owned, I bought for $50. It was a beat up used Fender knockoff that I got from a pawn shop, and it was the worst guitar, to this day, the worst guitar that I have ever played. Like the strings were so far off the neck, it was near impossible to play. But I love that guitar because it was mine, and it was my first guitar, and it let me feel like a rock star. So I played that guitar for hours and hours and hours and hours, Despite it being incredibly difficult, I persisted through it and I learned to get pretty decent at playing that guitar. Now, after several years of playing that guitar for literally hours a day and getting used to that horrible guitar, I finally saved up enough money to actually buy a decent guitar. And when I bought that decent guitar that had, you know, normal strings and a normal fretboard, playing that guitar, that new guitar, was the easiest thing in the world. Because I had gotten so used to playing the hardest guitar in the world, playing a normal guitar was so easy and I could play really, really well. Okay, so why am I telling you this? What does this have to do with marketing? Well, I basically did the same thing in marketing. When I got into marketing, I started with selling online courses. Selling online courses is great, there's a lot of money in it, but it's also really, really difficult. It's like playing that old guitar that had the strings like half an inch off the neck. But I did it, I got good at it, and I had success in that. So I decided just recently that instead of continuing to focus all of my efforts on the hardest possible segment of the market, that I was gonna start taking a little easier on myself and start going after the low-hanging fruit. Now, I'm gonna continue doing the online course sales because it keeps me sharp and helps me grow, but I'm also gonna start taking the low-hanging fruit while I'm at it, right? So what I've been doing is, let's, uh, Use my amazing drawing skills here. Now, there's a tree, and then here are the fruits up here. And this is the, the course sales that I've been doing. And then there's a big old tasty fruit right here. And so I've been jumping up to these fruits on the top of the tree, and these are tasty fruits, don't get me wrong. I have enjoyed these fruits very much, but I decided since this one right here is available that I'm gonna go for that one next. Okay, so let me tell you why this agency model looks so good to me and why I'm gonna start going after it and why you might want to as well. The first reason is that the competition is so much lower. Now, if you're doing the online course sales, you are competing with this. That is my visual representation of the entire world. You are competing with all of the other marketers in the whole world that speak English, basically, or whatever language you're selling in. So that's what I'm competing with right now. Now, if I do, if I do the agency stuff, I'm gonna be focusing on local businesses, specifically dermatologists, plastic surgeons, and estheticians. Now, if I focus on that, then I'm competing with that. One city, in fact, probably one area of a city in which that business is competing. So instead of competing with all of the other marketers in the entire world, like I've been doing, uh, I'm gonna start competing with a few plastic surgeons or a few dermatologists in one particular city. So needless to say, the competition for this is a lot less than the competition for the entire world. And also, the competition here is a lot less qualified than the competition here because when you're competing against other people who are selling courses, they're selling to the same market as you, well, you're competing against the very best seasoned marketers in the world. Whereas, if you're competing here 
and the little dot, well, you're competing against well, whatever your business is. So doctors in my case, I'm competing against doctors, most of whom don't know the first thing about marketing. So much easier. And if you want to choose a different market segment, it's going to be the same way, whether it's contractors or it's restaurants or it's landscaping services or furniture stores or whatever it is, chances are they're not going to be nearly as advanced in marketing as the people who are digital marketers who are selling these courses. Okay, another reason, as if you needed another one to get into this model, is because of this. This is the stuff that people buy. This part here is online courses. And then this here is everything else. So I'm going to stop focusing on this tiny little sliver here and focus on the stuff that people are actually buying and actually spending a lot of money on. And that's not to say that people don't spend money on online courses because absolutely they do and you can definitely make money there but there's so much opportunity in the rest of the economy. People spend a lot more money to look beautiful than they do on online courses. And maybe they should spend more money on online courses. You know, I'm a big fan of online courses, but the fact of the matter is that there's a lot more money in other sectors of the economy. Okay, now the last reason to do this is because the current marketing as it exists now in some sectors, some very profitable sectors, absolutely sucks and it's expensive. People spend tens of thousand dollars on radio ads, on TV commercials, on billboards to get their message in front of people who are just going to ignore it. When the people that are actually interested in what they have to offer are going to the internet and a lot of these companies either have zero online presence at all or they're going about it completely wrong. Like they have a website that shows up on the third page of Google and they think that's getting them customers. Or they have a Facebook page, or they have an Instagram page that they update all the time, but nobody ever sees it. Most of these companies are still in the Stone Ages as it comes to their marketing. The marketing that they're doing now was out of date already 10 years ago, according to the digital marketer standards. And these companies are spending a lot of money on this marketing that doesn't work. So there's a ton of opportunity. Even if you're not that advanced in marketing, maybe you just got started with it, right? You can learn pretty fast and be at a higher level than the people that'll be paying you. Because the level is just so incredibly low right now, there's so much opportunity. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in getting into, I'm gonna offer you a like once in a lifetime opportunity here for free. Just follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my notifications. And I'm going to be walking you through the process of me building my own business. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I'm doing so that you can copy me, you can do the same thing. There's so much business out there. I'm not worried about you competing with me. If you're worried about that, you know, you can find a different customer segment. There's just, the pie is so big that every single one of us can eat as much as we want and still have plenty left over. And so if you're excited about this and you want to get started right away, I have a really cool framework that I created that I will post a link in the description below. You can check that out. It's a free training about a framework I created called the Prospect Pyramid. That's four different categories of customers and what kind of advertising you should do to reach each different category. If you're a business owner, this will be awesome for your business. And if you're interested in an agency model like what I'm doing, then absolutely watch that as well because it will give you a really good place to get started. So go ahead and pause this video and check it out. I recommend you do that now. And after you do that, check out this video, which kind of gives you some of the ups and downs of doing digital marketing. And if you're interested in taking this journey with me and you want to follow along, let me know in the comments. Let me know this is something that interests you because I'll keep making videos about it. And of course, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.